Hey everyone, it is Natalie from Being Intentionally Creative. Today's video is going to be interesting for me because this is something I haven't done before. However, I have, I think, what I really need in order to do this and feel comfortable doing it. So you're probably wondering, what is she up to now? Okay, I have seen a lot of people put flowers in resin. I have not always, I've been a little leery doing it. I'm not sure why, whether I'm concerned that the flowers may not be dry enough, whether or not the flowers over time are going to turn brown, which you really don't want to have happen. And I don't mind doing some of my own pieces with flowers in them. I'm not sure I would ever feel comfortable getting a wedding bouquet or funeral bouquets or something like that and, and attempting this. However, I have a sister who is phenomenal with flowers. She has her own flower stand out at her place. And last year and uh, sort of over the last couple of years, I have gotten dried flowers from her because I absolutely love dried flowers. I think they're great because, well, they're already dead, so I don't have to worry about killing them. And she's found some interesting way of drying these. I don't know what the secret is to this. I don't need to know. She's got the flowers. I've got the molds. And there we go. What we're going to do is I have this hand mold where when it's done, it'll look like this. And I'm sure many of you have seen it. I think they're big for, um, oh, I can never think of the word, uh, succulents because people can, you know, when, once it's done, they're putting the succulents in here, or you could even put a bit of a rock garden in here, depending on what you wanted to do with it. I thought, I have some of her dried flowers. I have already taken the time to cut some of them off their stems and use them. I have been, I've been very sparing with them because I don't know how much room I'm going to have to work with within the mold itself. So I didn't cut a lot. What I'm, my initial thought is get in and around the side here with the flowers and then build it up. I am also going to put in a little bit of lilac blossom glitter. It just, it's like, no, this is the glitter you want to use. I don't need a lot of it, but I want to have some glitter within this. And it's by We Are Memory Keepers. I have so much of their glitter. Anyway, I don't know how much resin this mold needs. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't say, and that's one of the things I would love to see the people who are making these do moving forward is indicating like, let's resin does how much resin you actually need. I am going to mix up for starters, 400 mils, not because I don't want to fill this. I basically want to start with, let's get some clear resin with some of this glitter made up. I want to take the flowers before I put them in the mold. I want to dip them in the resin so they can get some resin on them. I'll pour the resin in and then I'll insert the flowers where I want to go. For me, it's important to coat these flowers in resin before I put them in the resin. I figure that'll help me with air bubbles not getting trapped. The resin to resin will be good as far as, you know, gliding them in where I want them to go. I'm hoping this turns out to the vision I have in my head. I'm not sure, but I thought let's start simple with this. I had considered putting some mica powder in. I just don't want the mica powder getting everywhere. Therefore, we're just going to start with the basics. We're going to make mix up our resin. We're going to saturate the flowers with the resin and I'm going to start placing them around and getting them the right way down so that when we see them you'll see the flowers once it's taken out of the mold the way it's supposed to be. Once I have sort of it seems the best place to get these to start with is so I'm just going to turn this over I can do it better in here in the palm area at the size where the thumbs are is going to be the best place to start. I have some little 
I have some flowers like this that my intention is to see if I can't slip them down into the mold without breaking this, but slip it down at the side here and sort of make it part of the fingers. I don't know if that's going to work. And then I have some other ones. Again, I think these might be a little too thick. And she spray painted these, by the way. And I've got some dirt in here, so I'm going to have to clean that up. But I just want to kind of... I hope I've got... A, I think I've got enough flowers. In fact, I probably have too many of them. But I just want to sort of see where I can put... And I want to use... Like, I want to use this big yellow one. So I may have to pull my mold aside to put this in. And then knowing I've got a flower this big, it's going to limit me to how much I can put in here. But we're going to see. We've got some interesting colors in here. She, uh, I just love going out to her place because the colors and the different types of flowers she has, oh, it's just, yeah, it, I always say it's a good thing I don't live closer to her because I'd have flowers here all the time. I really love the dried out though. And I have some for, I have some for Christmas. And I have some really pretty uh, pinks and blues for sort of this time of year. And then I have some fallish colors. So a really nice variety of dried flowers. That's the plan. I am going to go off camera now. The resin before I go that I'm going to use is going to be the Let's Resin. We're going to do that. And once I've got that all mixed up, then we'll come back and we'll see what I can do. Be back in a bit. Okay, I have my approximately 400 mils of resin mixed up. That's kind of hard on the uh, shoulders when you're, <laughs> you're doing that because it's such a big container. Now, there is a possibility that I may end up with more resin than I actually wanted to. And I have something off to the side here that I'm going to... Uh, use some of it for if I actually do end up with too much of it. And I'll show you what I'm going to do because it sort of relates back to something I've done before. I am going to, oh, I feel like I have to move everything out of the way now. I am going to use this pot. I'm going to put some resin in here and I'm going to use it for my flowers to get some resin on, on them and, and being very, very careful while I'm doing this as well, right? Because I do not want to break some of these flowers out. I just, you know, I want to be very careful doing it. But the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to put some of the sparkle in the lilac blossom. I just love the names that they came up with for some of their glitter. Uh, I wonder what it's like to spend all day coming up with names for things. So let's put this in. I, I want to be careful I don't put too much in. And at the same time, I want to put all kinds of it in, right? <laughs> I think it'll be nice amongst the flowers. I was trying to think of what color, and I could have done white. I was thinking of a gold for it, and I'm thinking, ah, gold might be the wrong color. But this kind of has, ah, it has a bit of red in it, and then it should have some of the blue in it. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting looking, interesting looking glitter. Now we're going to put some more in, because I can. And, uh, but like I say, not not too crazy okay stop <laughs> you ever do that when you're making something you stop okay you're you know you've gone overboard don't be doing this you've got more than enough in here yeah there's definitely red in that but that's okay it's gonna be i don't know if you can see it on my blue stir stick and I don't mind, you may be thinking, well, why are you doing the glitter in this now when you wait? And I don't mind if I have it, you know, sort of shimmering in the flowers. I Have you ever been outside when there have been dew drops on a flower and just how beautiful it looks? Uh, 10, 12 years ago, I was an avid photographer. And I had, uh, well, I still do, because I have all my camera equipment. Uh, macro lens which was so cool because if you went outside it just magnified you know the veins and the flowers and the uh, dew drops on them and oh it's just it's a fantastic lens and you know I look at it with this it's the same idea it's I want to 
give a little oomph, if you will, to the flowers. I mean, they're beautiful all, all on their own. However, I think it would be nice to, you know, give them a little bit of sparkle that you could see when the sun hits it, just like the, the dew drops on the flowers. If you can picture that. Okay, I'm just wiping off my stick, getting rid of that. Okay, so let's pour some of this in here. And I'm going to have to kind of be a little aware of my time um, because I don't want the resin to get, you know, sort of setting because I want to be able to place the flowers in it easily, right? It's not like I'm dealing with, you know, rocks and stones or something. Rocks and stones, one and the same, right? I'm dealing with flowers here, so I want to be careful. I've got a pair of tweezers, so let's see how we're going to do this. And I, ha I guess I have to think about this. What we're going to do first, before I even do that, is we're going to bring my mold here. Get that out of the way. I should pour some resin in here so that when I go to put my flowers in, we've got resin. So I'm going to do it over the knuckles here. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm, I know where I want this to go first. So you know what? I'm not going to do it over the knuckles. I'm going to do it at the very base here. And I know you probably can't see so let me turn this around for you be careful with my yeah it's a little harder for me this way because it's going to drop a lot further but anyway hopefully you can see what i'm doing and we'll just get some of the resin in here so when i go to put my flowers there's actually resin in the mold and it was interesting when i was pouring out how much resin i almost stopped it around what was it going to be 320 I was going to make and I thought Natalie make more if you have leftover that's great if you don't have leftover you're going to be you know then what then what then what then what so I'll just do that and I need to get uh, I seriously have to clean this table off so I have more room so what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to tip this a little bit. I don't really want to get resin everywhere, even though I am. But I want to make sure the thumbs are proper with the resin. Okay, now let's get some of these flowers. Let's pull that off the side. I don't have to be gentle with that. Uh, let's start with this little guy. So, oops, you got this little guy. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to very carefully put it in the resin and just sort of swipe it through. And I, you're not going to be able to. I apologize for you not seeing this, but basically all I'm doing is very carefully swiping it through the resin. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, I just want to get some resin on it. Do I need it soaked? I think it would be nice if it were somewhat, but I don't want to, you know, spend all kinds of time trying to do this so that's all I'm doing I just want to get enough resin on it that I can then place and I'm gonna to have to move this now I could set my flowers I guess off to the side but I'm not going to so let me put this down here again if I had more room right right okay so let's just take this flower and we're just gonna very carefully put it in and you're gonna to get to see like once I have these done That'll give you a better impression. And then I want to take this great big yellow one because it's going in. So I'm just going to very carefully again put it in this resin here. Do my best just not to hurt it. I'm going to tip the bowl toward me so I can. Yeah, I got to be careful because I mean, I, I don't think they're totally, totally fragile, but they're fragile enough. Right, so I'm going to have to be careful with this. It's like, just be gentle. I'm trying to flip it over. That's my problem. I'm having issues trying to flip it. So there we go. And get it kind of, kind of covered. So imagine, if you will, looking at this through the sun and getting glimpses of glitter on it. Won't that be cool? <laughs> and you know what? Because this is going down in because of the base, I'm not going to worry about the top here because one, I don't want to break the flower. 
and two I can drizzle some resin around that when I put it in so let's just carefully try not to and we'll just gently put this down at the side and I think what's going to help too by putting the resin on it like I don't have resin right up to the top of this because I don't know how much I'm going to need and the other thing is um yeah I don't know how much resin I'm going to need now I apologize that you can't see sort of what I'm doing but that's the way this is going to go okay now I know I had thought of putting some of these down there so let me just drip this one in resin and again I might end up with you know some one air pockets and or having to you know it's sort of sticking out through the hand because of how I did this so I'm going to very carefully drag this over here and put it just down there yeah and I'm going to cut that stem off I have some jewelry things here I'm just going to clip that off because I don't want that there All right. and this is basically what I'm going to do for the rest of this I'll do one more with you and then I think I'm going to go off camera again to finish it up because I don't want to keep you I just want to give you the idea of the process I was going through so all we're doing is we've got some resin set aside we're dipping the flour in it because I think I think it's a benefit to do it I do that when I do stones and any anything that um, is going to be in the resin I just coat it first I just think it's a it's a good idea um, I don't know that if everyone does that but it's what I do so we'll just stuff that here at the side I want to move and it's kind of hard once these guys kind of get laid in place it's like no I'm staying here don't bother moving me um, I'll do one more with you we'll do this little white piece so again all I'm doing is dipping it in the resin and coating it yeah, that's all we're doing all right this goes and then once I have all of these in here you can sit like that and I'm not going to fight with these to get them set in any like if they decide this is the direction I want to be in then I'm going to leave them and let them sort of fall on their own I don't know how well that guy being there is going to work but he may not I may need to put a little bit more resin on him you know and this is my first uh, go with this I'll put you over here I think that's where you need to be maybe I don't know push it down anyway when I've got this done I will uh, show you as best I can what I've done so stay tuned well that took a bit of work we are move you into view I did add a few more flowers to this than what I had in my bucket I also because you know I could and this is you know sort of what happens with me when I'm working on a piece is I start getting some ideas sort of running through my head I didn't bring you back because it was very somewhat I shouldn't say very but it was labor intensive doing this some of my flowers had floated up a little bit which was fine so I took uh, old paintbrush that I've got that I use for resin and I I started shoving pieces down to get them where I wanted I had emptied my silicone bucket over here that had the resin in it that I was mixing the flowers in into the mold before I put the extra flowers in so I basically took the new flowers I had using my tweezers and I coated them in resin as I was sort of pushing them down lifted them up putting them down I put in an additional four or five smaller flowers for some of the flowers because they had started to come back up I again used that paintbrush and sort of shoved them back where I wanted I don't necessarily have the flowers on the bottom where I want uh, next time perhaps what I would do is you know really work on layering it up versus sort of doing what I did I used all my resin in this piece so the other piece I was going to use it for well that will be another video 
I threw in some white glass chips. I have these came from Michael's and there are some of these other uh, glass chips I put in it as well. My father when he was alive and gardening did rock gardens um, quite a bit. I mean he built up fantastic. Well, that's where my sister gets her green thumb from is my father. With I mean she got from him um yeah now this is warm and i may regret this big time because this is very warm so i maybe should have used a deep pour my bad i didn't i don't have any deep pour resin to be able to do that so if this flash cures that is all on me i'm hoping it doesn't i'm going to let this obviously sit for a few hours and then i'm going to decide whether or not it's ready to have another coating of resin put on it and also have to decide uh, what color that would be. I will bring you back for that. Uh, and once I sort of decide, I, I had thought white would work, but obviously if I put white stones in, that's kind of pointless. What I might do is once, and then I'd, ha I'd have to actually let this sit for the 24 hours, once it has cured enough, you know, the, t the 24 hours, I was thinking of taking some mica powder and brushing it over whatever's left and then you know I could just put a clear resin in here as opposed you know maybe put some more of the sparkle glitter in it I'm not sure I want these I want these flowers to pop as I say white's not going to work black could work but I'm thinking black's going to be too too harsh of a color for these and especially too because I have some of my flowers are very they're very dark themselves so I don't necessarily want to do that I'll have a look at the, the mica powders I have and see if there's one that sort of catches my eye that may work I could use a pink for this I could do sort of a a mix of some different mica powders over it and then just cover it with a clear resin so i'm not really sure what i want to do right now but at least we have it done i think it's going to look cool i expect air bubbles that i just expect them because we are dealing with flowers there are a lot of you know sort of spaces that the you know air can get into but i'm okay with that because i'm looking at this as something that is I, it would be if the flowers were outside. I mean, the flowers aren't going to be perfect outside. And yeah, I, I'm i not going to be bothered by air, air bubbles. I'm hoping I don't have a lot of, you know, sort of pockets of them. Could always fill them in with UV resin, depending on what I have, because I'm not having to mix and match a color. All I have to do is put some glitter in it. I did sprinkle a little bit of the Nouveau Sunnyside Pure Sheen into this as well on the top. So again, we've got some more sparkle. But we'll leave it like this for now. And I guess we're going to find out when I take this out of the mold. The only other thing I might do as well at this point is maybe let this sit for an hour and then very carefully um, try and submerge some of these flowers into the resin a little bit more but again if it doesn't this is going to be the bottom so is it going to really matter um, that they're not and I think if I were to say this pink one here may be the one that is up a little too high but once I get it all done if it is I could always you know sand the bottom a little bit and uh, hopefully not make too much of a matter to it so we're gonna have to let this sit now and I have my fingers crossed I know I have some air bubbles here at the back um, and I, I sort of worked on getting those out I don't think I did a very good job I might see off camera about trying to get them out but again you know is it is it a really big deal that I have them you let me know in the comments below if you think it's a big deal that I have them. I definitely think this, like like I say, this, this thing's warm. And you don't really want it as warm as I have it. So maybe this is one of those things that, you know, maybe... I think there's a couple of things. One, that it's not a deep pour resin. Two, 
having all your flowers and everything ready to go and then just you know getting them in as quick as you can it did sit for a while my resin did sit for a while and i know that you know heats it up anyway enough explanation let's just see what you know what transpires over the next few hours to 24 hours depending on what i decide to do and we will come back to it be back i'm back and we are going to continue on with this vase vase what is this well it could be a vase i guess for something at the end of the day here is where we are at now i will admit that i've you know done a little bit to it however we're going to do the top coat together i'm trying to get uh oasis here from a gardening perspective and one of the things i Again, I was trying to think of what do I want to do to this to finish it up. I have taken some eye candy olive yellow and Let's Resin dark green. My makeup brush and I've put some of that in the top of the mold here. I put some around the flowers, on the flowers. Again, I'm sort of going for a garden feel we know actually and i did something else while you weren't around to see it uh, you'll notice i have some green uh, pieces of vase filler that i have put in this as well to give it again sort of a garden feel that's what we're going for we're going for a garden feel here to the best of my ability put some mica powder on we have sprinkled some additional green we'll call them pebbles that's the easiest way they're they're for vases now what are we going to do i have decided that i am i've got some even some different shades of green glass i've got this one and i have a darker green we are going to put some of that in this top coat i have green glitter i have limeade glitter again you'll see i'm getting a theme here going with sort of a grass uh, bottom i also took one of the flowers that i had and i pulled apart forget the green's not part of that but i pulled the the petals apart and all I did was I started in the middle of the flower and I pulled from there and worked my way down the actual bud itself to give me this. Because I thought, you know, it might be nice too to have some, some more petals in and around this and amongst it. Is this going to look okay at the end of the day? I think it will because the theme is all sort of relevant to flowers, greenery outdoors again that's the feel i'm going for i have mixed up my resin so that's all done i don't need to you know go away come back that i've done i've made 200 mils am i going to need it i'm not 100 percent sure but i wanted i don't want to have to mix up anymore i just want to get this to the top i am going to turn this around because i have i believe it's a hole here I don't think it's just an air pocket. I think I can get some resin in there, which I want to. So we're going to, you know, start and get that in there. And then we're going to work on the rest. And then how am I going to incorporate these? That's a great question. Because I sort of have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to take one of my pink glasses here. I, I don't think I want to mix a whole bunch of the glitter. I don't think I want to mix it in the big container yet so I'm not going to so we're going to take some of this resin I'm going to get myself a stick here I can almost I can already feel that stuff getting warm it's amazing me how warm now I did warm water bath that again too so that could be part of it I want to and I'm going to turn this around so let's just throw that over there for or place it place 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 always place I'm going to pour some of this resin in. I'm going to work it into that hole and hopefully 
this does what I want it to do and I want to do it slowly and I may have to work with it a little bit because I want to get it in there and I'm pretty confident that I can get it in there I just might need a might just need a little bit of help so let's just feel you know as with resin you know that once you get it going it'll flow into places now it's not as big of a hole as I stick my tongue out. Did you ever do that when you're working on stuff? Stick your tongue out because it's going to make it that much easier. So let's see if we can... I really want to get some in there because that's a fairly big gap that I would have to try and fix later on. So I don't want to... I'm going to lift this up just a little bit. Don't tell anybody because I know I shouldn't be doing that but I'm going to anyway because like I said I really want to get resin in there. So if I had filled it up more, that probably wouldn't have been an issue for me. Now, is it going in there? See, it doesn't seem to feel like it's going in there. It's just maybe one of those things. And I may be left with a gaping hole. I'm not sure what my best bet is on this, to be totally honest with you. So let me clean that off. I was hoping that, you know, this was going to be, oh yeah, that's just going to flow in there like crazy and we're all going to be good and yeah, maybe not. So let me try another one of my sticks. See, I can get it further now. Hey, I love this. Someone's trying to to think I can get it in there. I really, I really want to get it in there. Part of me wants to lift it up and do that, but I'm thinking, yeah, you might be, that might be a foolish thing to do. That might be a foolish thing to do. I'm being very quiet now as I reflect on this and you may be sitting there thinking um well you know <laughs> if I were you this is what I would be doing as I maybe introduce more bubbles and whatnot into this okay I just wipe that on there for right now I think I'm getting a little bit of uh, resin in there let's pour a little bit more and see if it doesn't maybe work its way in this. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Don't tell anybody. I'm trying to work it in and shove it in and I know my hands are in the way. I just love when people do that but I'm right-handed so I have to do what works best and easiest for me. So yeah we are getting some resin in. I mean the the hole isn't as gaping as it was. Now I have an air bubble over there, but that one I can deal with later. I'm trying I'm trying to think if I can get it to the back there. Pesky little air bubble. Let me push some stuff out and see if I can't. I'm trying to push the air bubbles out and I'm doing magical little things here. If you have any comments below on what I could be doing better about this, if I'd done it right in the first place, right? Don't you love that? If you just done it right in the first place. But this is part this is part of it, right? This is part of the whole resin experience. I'm lifting that up and hopefully it doesn't flick out, but I'm lifting it up. Again, I'd rather deal with a small little hole that I have to fill in than some big huge. So I'm just going to do the push the air bubbles out. So hopefully you can see, hopefully this is in line. But I'm pushing air bubbles out and I got a hair right there that I don't want. So let's just push these air bubbles and as I'm doing it it's it's actually filling in the space so that's a beautiful thing. So we'll come back. I, I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit but I definitely don't have the gaping hole I had before. So 
just gonna hold that down and then we'll come back I'll work at it some more it's definitely not as bad as it was before okay come back to that in a moment Move my hands okay so let's put some of this green glitter in the limeade okay and we'll put some of this green and it's a bit more coarse uh, I dislike these bags there I said it they're a bit of a challenge to to open up so let's mix this in and then what I'm gonna do is once I get that mixed then I'm going to pour it in and just to let you know I bought some more of the Dollar Tree resin I decided that because it was fairly deep for small pieces that I would buy some more of it so the A and B costs me three dollars to buy it plus tax right. so spreading that in I'll do this first because when I pour the other stuff in it'll sort of spread it out more and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the rocks glass call them what you will and sort of spread them out a little bit just sort of randomly and again they'll probably get spread out I kind of think it's going to be neat if you get to see some of this what I'm going to call sort of my grassland now we have to think too so let's just take some of these you know some people may say well you might and I know what you're thinking too because I soaked the other stuff maybe I should do these as well I just don't want these to break when I'm mixing them in I don't know how they will they will react you guys got to come out of here too much stuff on you so hopefully I must put a little sprig of this in this I'm kind of going to push down I think I'm going to have to sand the bottom of this when this is all said and done unless I get you know unless I'm really I don't know why I'm so all over using my gloves to push things down today holy it just seems like oh yeah just use your gloves for everything that's beyond me okay let's sprinkle a few more of these in I think this is gonna look kind of cool actually you know that oops and then we'll put some of the darker green in here and I don't want too crazy but I'd kind of like to have it covered up so I think that's why I'm going a little bit overboard oops there goes one so I'm going to push down on this again to get this air bubble I, I might be out of luck on that okay so I want to get this on because this resin is starting to warm up and I'm just you know what I'll do it left Use my right. yeah this stuff is really warming up a lot I'm surprised I don't know whether it's because I'm mixing up so much of it or what the dealio is. Anyway, let's just get this over top of this stuff very carefully, going slow so it holds it down. And I might sprinkle some more of that limeade glitter on top of this. I'm going to leave that, that air bubble. I'm not going to try and... I'm more concerned right now about getting this resin out of this container and into my mold but the idea of going around and filling in the spots as I am and I'll work on pushing some of this greenery down any that's sticking up so what do you think so far is this something you've done have you worked with flowers before if you have I'd love to know about it and how they've turned out I know a lot of people too like working with ashes and I don't have a desire to do that <laughs> either but I'm curious to know if you have I mean every whatever you know floats your boat or whatever you're comfortable doing um, I worked I didn't work with my mom's ashes I 
just made the box that her ashes went into and I had no desire to take any of her ashes because I thought what are, like it just didn't feel right to me to do it so I I chose not to I just wanted to make the box that her ashes went in and I had a lot of I had a lot of fun it was somewhat emotional for me but you know I managed I managed to get it done and I think I did a pretty good job because I had her in mind the entire time I did it. So yeah, I'm curious, have you have you done anything like this before? Have you worked with ashes? Um, yeah, what ha, what different things have you done that, you know, you think is really cool to work with and you do it again? Like I say, I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to working with flowers and especially ones that are really important to people. I just, I don't want to, <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know, way to have faith in myself, eh? Do I do it? No, you know what? I won't. I'll throw some more rocks in and try and get the resin off my hands. So I'll pour a few more of these in. I know the, the glass will settle itself down. I have re really, I'm really excited to, do, having done this, finally just, you know, taking, taking the chance of, okay, you can do this. And I want to, I want to make sure I'm not overfilling this at all. I think I'm okay still. So what are you up to today? Besides, you know, watching my video, which I very much appreciate you guys doing. Have you done anything fun and exciting today from a creative point of view? Or have you just so checking whatever well, sister? I think I got enough. <laughs> I think I got enough in there now, people. What do you think? Would you agree that I've kind of, I've done it? Okay, so let's just sort of push some stuff down. I think it's going to be kind of interesting to have those petals just sort of float around the bottom. That'll be neat. I like when stuff does that. Okay. I think we are just going to leave that alone now. I think I think there's going to be enough to give it a nice balance at the bottom. I do kind of want to get the glass down though. Because I'm not going to be able to sand glass, am I? There we go. Let's get these down and into the into the resin. into the resin alrighty and that that air bubble I'll deal with that once we take it out we'll see how how bad it is and what we need to do to it and do I want to I'm just gonna let this sit now one thing I want to mention to you because I did it myself I when I was bursting some of the bubbles in the first layer there happened to be one right by one of the, the petals on one of the flowers and it quickly caught on fire. So be very careful if you're bursting bubbles and you happen to have the petals near. It's it's on the it's not going to show where it is. It's not going to show. So I don't care, but I just want to point that out to you. Be be aware of that, that you could have that happen. Best to know, right? It's just like working with alcohol inks and resin. Once you've, you know, put your alcohol in, don't use your lighter to try and get rid of air bubbles because it's dangerous. Okay. So let's just kind of, I'm going to, I was going to say I'm going to move some of those, but you know what? Random is good. Okay. We're done with that. I'm not touching it anymore. I promise. I'm going to leave it alone. What I am going to do, actually, I just had a brilliant idea. Every once in a while, I get them. So can you, yes, you can see. This, what we're going to do is, I don't know if I have too much of that, but all I want to do right now, let's get that out of there. I'm going to take these leftovers. And I'll put, I'm going to, I am, I'm going to see what happens. So we'll put them in here. And we're going to, very carefully, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to very carefully mix them in. And then we're going to pour them in. I'm going to obviously add some glitter because, well, why wouldn't you? I'm 
and, and see how it looks. The randomness of it all, eh? And you know what else I'm going to do? I've got my gold glitter here. I'm going to put gold glitter in here. And hopefully I can do this carefully without... Uh, Have you ever done this? You know what? You intend to put just a little bit of glitter and you end up knocking the whole bottle in. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. That was a bad idea. I did okay today, though. Yay me. Oh, this will look pretty. If I had some red alcohol ink with me or near me, I would do that, but I don't. So we're not going to... We're not going to bother with that. Okay. So can you see? You can see. Let me just very carefully I'll move my hands back. There we go. So you can see better. And now we're just going to pour this in here. Might as well use them up, right? And if this, if this piece turns out like I'm kind of hoping it will, then maybe what I'll do is uh, see about doing like something else and getting, when I say something else, using my sister's flowers, but using a different mold, like even something like this. Just depends on how it turns out, right? I have leftover. I think this is going to be cool though. Okay. I think this, these are going to suspend themselves really nicely. So I need another mold. I'm going to go get my, my paw mold very carefully. And uh, I'm just going to keep you, I'm still tethered to my microphones and I don't want to, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Uh, let's do the dog. We'll do the dog and the heart. Like I said, I could throw it into a different mold that I have a different idea for, but I want you to be able to see it. So let's just take you, I'll put you over here. Don't you just love when you have too much stuff made up? It just, it drives me nuts sometimes. Ah, uh, and I'm trying to think, what did I, oh, that's way the heck on the other side of my room too. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Can we do that? We don't have much left in the way of flowers in here, so I'm going to add more glitter than I probably should, but that's okay. If I'd, uh, if I'd known I was going to end up with as much left as I do of my resin, I wouldn't have... Uh, done as much, but that's okay, you know? I'm going to have still some left over. <laughs> I love this. I so overestimated that top of that, that hand. And that's what happens. Okay, so I've got enough in that now. So that's the heart done. I hope you're enjoying this. See if I can't get the paws this time to not have air bubbles in them. Being that I'm only working with one color. And if I just let them slide in, we should be okay. And I'm really hoping that I I that I've got none left after this. I, th I figured this paw took about 20 mils. I can't put any more in the heart because the heart's full. My hands, <laughs> my hand is full. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Oh, seriously. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. I think the, the paw is going to be okay. I think I've got just enough for the paw. So, so if I had to guess, yeah, and I'm still not a hundred percent sure. So we made, 
We made 400 mil initially for the hand. And then I made another 100. Did I make it? No, I made another 200, which was way off the beaten path. If I weren't putting the flowers in, then maybe it would have been okay. But I think the fact that I put the flowers in it, I really overestimate. I mean, it may have only taken, uh, well, I did four. Maybe five would have done it instead of six. But anyhow. And I want to get this container cleaned out because it's plastic and I dislike, I was going to say I hate, but I dislike trying to clean resin out of plastic. It doesn't always work out really well. All right, things are getting sticky icky. So we're going to stop there with this foolishness I've got going on. I'm getting resin absolutely everywhere. Okay. So we have, <laughs> we have our flower in there and these are like floating. So that may be something to consider if you wanted to do a resin piece with just the petals floating in it would be to like let them dry completely and then just put them in resin, mix them up very carefully and then just put them in. So this is going to actually be a cool piece when it's done. We have a few of the flower pieces in with the dog piece, the dog paw. That's okay. And our hands done and our heart. So that's all for now. Again, let me know, let the rest of the community know if you are or have worked with flowers, if you've thought about working with flowers, but you haven't because you're like me and it's kind of a bit, you know, scary to do it. But I would like to know. So before I get all sticky and like completely sticky, I've got to let you go so I can get things unsticky around me. We will come back when it is time to take all these things and more specifically the hand out of the mold and we'll see how I did. Did I do a good job? Did I mess this up or the things I can learn from it? There's definitely things I can learn from it, but I look forward to you joining me when we take this out of the mold. We'll see you then. Well, I guess today we're going to get to see how this beautiful piece here has turned out. It has sat. I did turn it over like this just to see how it looked underneath. And I had quite a few of the white stones. I'm wondering if that was a bad idea, but we'll see. We'll see. If it was a bad idea, then I won't ever do that again. We also have this piece that I'm very curious to see how this set with the pieces pulled off the flower. I know what they're called. Again, it's morning, so I don't have my words with me right now. So we'll open this one first, because I'm curious, very curious about this one, and then we'll do that. And then we just have the heart and the dog paw, but you've seen those before, so I'm not, you know, going to spend a lot of time on them. And then I have one other thing I want to quickly talk to you about. So let's, I want to move this aside because I really don't want to hit my hand. Ha <laughs> ha. Humor first thing in the morning. What do you think? Okay, this is easy to get out of here, which is nice, nice, nice. So this piece has been a collaboration, if you will, of different pores that I've had resin left over from. And wow, I like that. I'm glad I swirled this in the center. It almost looks like I've got a boo-boo there um, with something white but it, it is in it. I can rub it over top, but I love how this sort of the swirling in there, um, I want to make sure I'm up in the right spot, that the swirling in there and this pink, which is polyurethane with some <clears throat> red in it, actually looks nice with it. So let me slowly turn it around. Let me not wing it around too fast. Just so you can see the, and this, center piece here that is the Dollar Tree resin in there 
what I had left over from the piece I had done in another video. Wow, I have to, I'm trying to remember what I did where. So that, that turned out, that's, I'm, I'm impressed with that. So here, I don't know how we, can you see that we've got the petals? That's what I was looking for, that's the word we want. Petals are floating in this, which is nice. So I, ho I hope you can see it well enough. I'm trying to think, let me bring my, the hand back up here for a second. I don't know what I can put. If that'll make it better. Can you see the petals maybe better in here now with this? And they're f they are floating in there. Get those out of that way. I don't know if this is better. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them better. But they are floating in it, which is nice, which gives me, you know, some food for thought of, you know, maybe even doing another one of these and taking some of, some of my other flowers and pulling the petals off of them and using them in. So that turned out nicely. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'll go back down to the bottom. That might be a better view. And then what is nice too, which would be a nice idea, is to, like the first what you pour in, have it be a bit of a design like with two colors and then make the, the majority of it with floating petal, pe petals, pebbles in it. Petal. Oh my goodness. Okay, with floating petals in it. So that's kind of cool. And if there, you had some different colors in there, I think that'd be really nice if you wanted to. But that, that came out nice. I like that. Yeah, I do. That turned out nicely. So we have that. So I'm curious. Let, let me know what you think of this. I'll put that off to the side now. Okay the hands. I don't know how easy this is going to be to take out of here, being that I've never, I was going to do a mix to mold in this and I never didn't get around to doing that first because I think I had this and I didn't really want to have to try and clean the mix to mold out of the mold. So let's just see. I, I don't know the easiest way to get getting this off of here. So if you, you've done it before and you're going, don't do it that way, do it this way. And we knew we were going to have some air bubbles down here. And I do, but that's okay. I'm not, I wasn't bothered by that. I knew I was going to have them just because of the way I did it. So that might be one thing I do differently moving forward is to just get enough resin in it so that I can, you know, get the flowers set and then, and then, and then, and then. Ugh. <laughs> Bit of a challenge. Focus on the hand, focus on the hand. It was is such a pretty mold. It's another one of those really cool looking molds. I'm really hoping those white stones haven't uh, haven't taken away too much from the bottom of this. I do like the glitter in it. Okay, so there we have our hand, hands, uh, I should say. Let me just put that off to the side. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so here is our hand. Okay, I can stop saying that word now. I'm wondering if one I wish I hadn't dropped the white stones into it. Yeah, I wish I hadn't done that. But anyway, y you know what? As much as I, I look at it and go, oh, this isn't as brilliant as I thought it was going to be, I do, again, I like that I've, you know, figured something out. If you want to have flowers, because it's taken away from, there are flowers in here, but you can't see them because of the stones. So that was, that was a bad on my part. I, you know, wish I hadn't done it. You can see... I do have some air bubbles in this flower here, one of these dark ones. The yellow one, not bad. You can see them at the side here going up the thumb. I like, I like this flower for the fact that you can get it down into the finger area. I think I, I overdid it with the stones. 
I'm not overly pleased with this piece. It would have been great and maybe if I had some smaller flowers that I could have put in the palm here that would have been handy instead of sort of glitzing it up and putting in what I did like the stones. I don't mind the stones but the white definitely has overtaken. I wish I hadn't done that because it's blocking again there's a flower back here that you can't see as well and if those weren't there you might be able to get more of a view of it. The pink's right on the center here. I think I'm going to have to sit with this for a while and maybe I had wondered if maybe if I'd gotten the stones down into the, the ends of the fingertips if that would have been better. Anyway, that is our our video. We have some air bubbles here and here. It is a little rough here on the top so I would want to put something on because I'm not I'm not even going to try and sand down the the glass that's on here but I would definitely want to put something on this so that if it were put on a table it wouldn't scratch it. I do like how those are sitting there. So if you did flip it over you mean you've got something to see the sides, they're not bad. I might have to make a, a different choice of my flowers and I would definitely see this white one here is similar to this pink one and I was attempting to get it down into a finger and it was not cooperating with me. But uh, all in all, I mean granted this is my first, this is my first go with this. And although it isn't exactly the way I like it, it's not bad. And perhaps what I would have been better off doing is pulling the petals off and just putting them in here versus doing what I did. But I was going for a theme, I was going for something specific. And yeah, I definitely wouldn't put the white stones in there again. Not with the, not, not with doing the way I did with the flowers because they've unfortunately covered some of them up. However, that's how you learn. So there you have it. Maybe smaller flowers, maybe just using the petals in them <clears throat> as opposed to doing sticking, you know, full size flowers in or maybe I needed to have taken smaller flowers to make this work. Anyway, comment below. Let me know if you've worked with flowers before putting them in anything. If you've done it with this mold, if you have this mold. Um, I just want to stand it up like that because I hadn't thought. That gives me an idea. If you had, I have some fake succulents, but I'm just wondering if you took something like that and put it over here. So hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I just wanted to run and grab some things. <laughs> I didn't want you to have to sit waiting that. Okay. So what if can we see that well enough? I need some white on this. Hold on. Let me put something white underneath this so you can get a better view. The black's not helping you at all. Okay. Now, how good of an idea this is, is, you know, not 100% sure. But if we did something like that, can you see that well enough that we've got... Get these out of the way because they're not really relevant. Just want to put white behind my piece. It, I mean because it's got a good enough base you can stand it up like that. I mean yeah you could knock it over however I mean it is so you could you could do something like that and have it decorate like do something different with it. Let's take this one out. Let's put that one in there. That might be a bit better. I know you can get smaller pots than this when I was because uh, I got these at Michael's when I picked these up they I then went and looked at their clay pots and there's a size slightly smaller than this you could do you could do something like this and have it as a display which is kind of cool because of the way the hands are going I like that idea I think that's a cool concept let's take these out this is I'm sort of again just you know spitballing here but something like that. That's, is that a possibility? Having a small tree in front of it, which I kind of don't mind. 
Now, the other thing that might have looked cool, and again, I haven't done it yet because I'm, you know, sitting on the fence with wanting to do it, but if we put lights in there. So imagine this being on a table, having some lights in it, having something simple, like, and I mean basic simple in front of it like this, and then having the lights go on at nighttime. That might be really cool. And this piece here, I haven't got rhinestones on it yet, but I plan on putting them on. If you had a light in the hands and you had the rhinestones on there, the, the light bouncing off of it. I mean, they're so totally different in a way because I think of this as Christmas and this is summer. Why not? Why not? So I kind of like how that looks standing up. It's an idea. It's a thought. You don't have to use these. are the only props I had available I was going to put. <laughs> and I went, that's not going to work. But anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. I just, that's kind of cool, actually, having it sit up like that. I kind of like that, that way, more than I like it sitting down. Although I know that's the intention of this. I kind of think it might look cool sitting up like that. Anyway, just throwing throwing ideas out there. So I'll put that. Before I end this video, there is one thing, other thing I want to talk about, and we've been doing a lot of talking about the mixed mold, the sealers, you know, brushes, what people are using, what have you. So I was in Michael's, and Artist Loft had a set of, I think there were 14 pieces for seven dollars of brushes and sponges and I have been playing with the selection that's in there. This brush I used yesterday on the angels that I'm putting the sealer on and I found it actually worked very well. I have no idea what type of brush this is as far as the bristles go because I know there's all kinds of different names given to the different brushes, but I did try this yesterday and it actually worked out very well. I had wondered if synthetic was a way to go with, and I'm just trying to find my other brush over here, two of the other brushes that came with it. So these were two of the other brushes that came in the package that I got. They both, the bristles are coming out of both of them. And that's why I switched over to this one and I found it was working working better for me. I just thought I'd point that out because I am sort of on a mission now to find out what works best for me. So I thought I would share this with you. And right now, of the brushes I've tried, this one I like the best. It's the right size for me to do in around the wings and whatnot in the inside of the pot. And so I'm gonna keep using this one. Because unfortunately, unless you've got a really good eye, these being the color they are, they're hard to see if one of them comes out. I've been lucky, but I don't, I don't want to have to count on that. Whereas this, because it's a reddish color, reddish brown, it, I'll be able to see it easier. Just wanted to share that with you. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you found this video helpful. As I say, comment below, like, and subscribe. Take care. Bye for now and we'll see you in my next video.